hello i am so very happy to see you again if you have been coming here again and again you're welcome and if this is the first time you're coming you're welcome blossom with me my name is busola here we grow we blossom by doing things that make us happy and make the other people around us happy just blessing others and in blessing others we get blessed that's how it works it's more blessed to give than to receive. Would you remember when we talked about making memories? Yes, I trust you do. And today, I want us to look again at that matter. Memories are great and they go a long way. How do we make memories? For example, you may have noticed a card, this card, if you have been observant, you may not have, but that's a card I received from my husband. I wonder if you can read the words, but if you can't, well, it says today, like other days, I cherish your love. What a memorial. And here I'm still keeping it <laughs> on my desk. Yes. Later it says, because your love means so because your love means the world to me i cherish it i love it and so i keep it there he still says such things to me today and more that memory is really special so how do we make memories for example this morning we woke up and get got dressed for work just as i am and my husband he was already dressed and then he says oh you're wearing that shirt our children gave us when we went to Winnipeg. So okay, let me wear my own so that we will do uniform. He's not the kind of person that does uniform. I am good at it. By my upbringing, I flow with doing uniform. Anyway, what did he do? He changed into his own, making memories. And because we were a bit early for work, we said, why don't you get some photos? Talk of being spontaneous. So you keep making memories. So just that card, the photos, the words, you make a lot of memories. As I thought about this, I said to myself, there may be somebody who's watching now and saying to themselves that oh the person i would have made memory with memories with is gone i didn't do it when they were here you know what i think there are still many people in your life with whom you can make memories your children your husband your friends your parents there are make sure you do and let me just share another thing for christmas 2021 my friend Eberi, you know her. Uh, I've shared a video of her one of these days. She made a trip. Yes, I mean, she made a trip from Sweden to Newcastle here in the UK to spend the Christmas with us. Now, you may be wondering, what about a trip? What's special about a trip? Well, a trip is special enough and we often do that to each other but this woman and her daughter they braved all the COVID-19 protocols i mean all the tests before tests on arrival tests uh before departure yes <laughs> i told her that was crazy love crazy love did everything that was required to make that trip. Talk of making memories. And shall I share with you what Eberi and I say to each other? We better do these trips now when we can. Let's be spontaneous. I think of coming to see you. I get on the plane to come and see you. Women in their late 50s. 
when we're in our late 80s, will we still be able to be as spontaneous? Would we have the strength of body to do that? I wonder. We wonder. But we don't wait. We make memories. And so if that time comes and we're not able to fly, jump on the plane to go and see each other, we can call, do our video calls and say, ah, you remember those days when we walked the streets of Newcastle, doing prayer walks, uh, discussing our future, and we'll giggle and we'll laugh about it because we have made memories. Or you remember when we'll be in uh, Stockholm, we went to this place and went to that place when we were at the centrum and this happened and I can see all the places in my mind's eyes though I may no longer be able to travel there making memories as I record this video I remember when my mother was turning 80 and we were putting together tributes photos and so on and my brother sent to me uh, sister can I get some photos of you and mommy? And I searched everywhere. I couldn't find any photo of me and my mother. And this is a woman I stay with a lot. I visit a lot. It brought to my mind that we don't get photos when we're together. And I told myself, the next time I'm with her, I'm going to get all sorts of photos. I'm going to get a lot of photos. That's just it. How about you? What comes to your mind now? What are ways you can make memories? Those little meals together? They don't have to be expensive. They don't have to be. Going out to your favorite places. A walk in the park. What is it? It could even be video calls. Yes, <laughs> that's our reality. That has become our reality. Sometimes it's just not possible to visit because of the health uh, situation in the world. And other times, if you are that kind that has family all over the world, like me, then what we have is more of the video call. You know, we can make a lot of memories during those video calls. We can even record them. My husband is very good at that. When we're video calling with our grandchildren, children you just find him cap capturing scenes from the call i'm sure there are many other things going through your mind now as you watch why don't you do us a favor drop a line about that in the comment section ways that we can make memories with friends and loved ones Thank you again for coming this way today. If you haven't subscribed, please click on the subscribe button. Share with your friends, family, your loved ones, everywhere. Everybody can do with a bit of this because we all need to make memories, sweet memories. So come on, go on along and keep making those sweet memories. And I'll see you again in my next video. Till then. Bye.